Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss how to draw the sin graph. Now when we're drawing the sin graph, what you must remember that the standard values we're working with is 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. Whenever you're doing the sin graph, it is necessary that you have your mother graph in front of you. Now this was discussed in our previous video, so if you're not familiar with this, then you need to go to that video and look at it. Now what happens when I give you an equation and I say y is equal to 2 sin theta. The effects of the 2 lie on the y. So what we do is, when we are affecting the a's, standardly we'll say y is equal to sin theta. That's the standard graph that you know. Now I'm adjusting the number in front. So y is equal to a sin theta. Now what is the effect of this number here? The number in front affects your y value. What it is doing is, it is multiplying with your y value. So instead of 0, I have 0 times 2 which is 0. Now I have 1 times 2 which is 2. 0 times 2 which is 0 minus 1 times 2 which is minus 2. 0 times 2 which is 0. So my new y value is now 0, 2, 0, minus 2 and 0. The x value is still the same. So when we are drawing the graph, now we have got new coordinates. What is our coordinates? These are our x values and the one where we change is our y values. Now if we draw a Cartesian plane, our coordinates now are 0, 0 and then we have 90 and 2, we have 180 and 0, 270 and minus 2 and 360 and 0. And that's our drawing. So remember, when we're affecting A, we are multiplying the Y value with whatever A is. Okay, now let us take another graph. Y is equal to sin X plus 2. Now when we're affecting Q, the effects of Q on Y is that I add to it. Remember when we did the first one, we were multiplying to our y. Now we are adding to our y. So you're still working with your standard graph. These values you must know very well. Now how do I change it? My adjustment is that I am adding 2 to every y value. My new coordinates are going to be 0 plus 2 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3, 0 plus 2 is 2, minus 1 plus 2 is 1, 0 plus 2 is 2. So, our new coordinates are the standard x, but our y has changed. Okay, so let's plot. We have 0 and 2. Look at where I'm starting. No more at 0, 0. Then I have 90 and 3, 180 and 2, 270 and 1 and 360 and 2. If I join the dots, you still have a sun graph, it's still the same curve, but it's now moved up. That's what the graph has done. Now in this graph, look at what changes. What is the minimum? The minimum is now 1. The maximum is now 3. If I want the amplitude, it's maximum minus minimum over 2, which gives me an amplitude of 1. The range is the lowest point to the highest point. So our range is from 1 till 3. And then the domain is usually given to you. Like they would have said, draw the graph from 0 to 360. So the domain is usually given to you. Let's do another graph. Okay, if you're looking at this graph, the range would have been from minus 2 to 2. The maximum would have been 2. The minimum would have been minus 2. But look at the amplitude. The amplitude is the maximum 
minus the minimum divided by 2. So it's 2 plus 2 which is 4 which gives me 2. So the amplitude of this graph is 2. Now sometimes they join the graphs. Let us take the following graph. Now again you know it's a sin graph so you should know by now your standard mother graph. These coordinates should be in your head all the time and you should know it very very fast. Now what are we doing? There are two adjustments now. Now they've made an adjustment in front which is our A and you know that multiplies Y. And then they've made an adjustment at the end which is Q but you know then that they add to it. Now if you remember your board mass, multiplication comes before addition and subtraction. So we're going to do both adjustments to Y but we're first going to multiply and then we're going to add. So we first multiply by minus 2, add 1. 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 Now, if you do it the other way, you will get the wrong answer. Let's take this. 0 times minus 2 is 0. Plus 1, it's 1. Okay? If you said 0 plus 1, you would have had 1 times minus 2 would have given you negative 2. So can you see, by doing it against the board mass rule, you're going to get it wrong. 1 times minus 2 is minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 0 times minus 2 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Then we have minus 1 times minus 2 is 2 plus 1 which is 3. And then 0 times minus 2 is 0 plus 1 which is 1. So which coordinates are we drawing? You are drawing the first one and you are drawing the adjusted one. Okay, so what are our coordinates? We've got our standard 91, 82, 73, 60. Let's plot here. We have 0 and 1. And then we have 90 and minus 1. 180 and 1, 270 and 3, and 360 and 1. Now if we're doing join the dots, notice two things. Number one, it's upside down. Why it's upside down? Because that is the power of the negative. The negative makes the graph turn around. So as in where you used to a graph looking this way, negative flips it over. Okay? So that is the power, that is the power of the negative. And then from your mother graph, we always had start, started at 0, 0, but you know the plus 1 is bringing it up 1. Just like the previous one, where it starts at 0, 0, the standard mother graph, but the plus 2 brought it up 2. Now, what is the maximum of this graph? The maximum of this graph is at 3. The minimum of this graph is at minus 1. So the amplitude would be maximum minus minimum over 2 which is equal to 3 plus 1 which is 4 over 2 which is 2. Now what I want you to notice is notice the amplitude and the number that we considered A. Okay? You would notice that it's always the same. If you take the second one, the amplitude here was 1. And look at the number that was in front there. It's 1. This is just a simple observation that is nice to use when you, you're working later, okay? Later it will become beneficial. Here, look at the number in front, it's 2, and then the amplitude is 2. So, we've got the amplitude. What is the range? The range, the lowest point is minus 1, and the highest point is 3. So the range is minus 1 to 3. Now remember, it's always lowest to highest. If you write 3 and minus 1, it's wrong. It's incorrect. Thank you for watching.